Hello and welcome to WWMS Student News for the week of December 17th. I hope you all are getting excited and getting ready for the holidays in your household. I know they'll be different this year, but they'll be great. We have Thursday, Friday this week to finish up and then we'll be coming back after the New Year's and hopefully 2021 will be a lot better than 2020. So I'm looking forward to the new year. We have some great stories for you. Remember to check out the WWMS Student News website and let us know what you want to hear from us moving forward. And have a great holiday break and a happy new year. Hi, so for this week's video, I'm doing like a cooking thing. This is how to make a Nutella chocolate bar, kind of. Welcome to episode one of Cooking with Amber. It doesn't require like a microwave, an oven, only a freezer, and I'll tell you the things that you'll need. So you need Nutella. If you like Nutella, this is something that I think you'll really like. That's like the main thing you'll need. And then you need a bowl and a spoon. And you also need a freezer, like I said. And if you want like extra toppings, you can use sprinkles. I don't even like sprinkles. It'll make it look Christmassy and cool, so. So in my World Cultures class, I made like a nutella dish so we would like make our own pretend food and we could actually make it if we wanted to and i did so here's what that looked like but i'm just going to do the plain simple one which is just nutella so the first step is to open your nutella and grab some and put it into the bowl so once you get like the i guess shape you want it doesn't really form a shape it kind of just like melts because it's chocolate but once you get the shape that you want so then you can pour some sprinkles on it i'm only gonna add a little bit because i don't like sprinkles that was too much now pop it into the freezer for 35 minutes to an hour maybe even an hour and a half if it needs it it is perfect now i will be tasting it so it is a little hard but like you can still put a spoon through it and get a piece so it tasted really good um tell me if you try it and if you like it because i really like it but i also like chocolate and nutella so i don't know if other people will like it as much as i do bye we finished the christmas tradition survey i'm about to share some results with you thank you to everyone who filled out the form page t's response another student's response john y's response Another student's response. Princess's response. Apple E's response. Thank you to everyone who filled out the form. Have a great holiday break, Wolverines. Yeah, I'm back on camera again instead of the normal Among Us clips. It's weird. Among Us finale, even though we didn't really have the opportunity to cover much. Recap. Among Us was a popular game for some time. People liked it because of its simplicity and the roles to accomplish. Over the past few weeks, starting roughly through November, I've been giving the rundown of things to cover at the beginning. The roles, the maps, um, I even mentioned sabotages and vents every now and then. I want to do more videos covering more complex concepts like vent marinating and security and everything like that. But my new supervisor, and by that I mean during the past news meeting, I was told I should probably try and wrap things up before winter break started. So here's what we've covered over the past month or so. There are three maps. Uh, Mirror HQ, pull it, uh, I need to look at the script again. There are three maps. The Scout, Mirror HQ, Polis, and a fourth one that's allegedly coming out sometime next year in 2021. Um, if I'm allowed to, maybe I could cover something like that next year uh, if the hype for Among Us is still up. Each of the maps vary in shape and size along with their tasks. All of them provide unique experiences for the players, um, and they come with their own tasks and sabotages found in different parts of the map. A few weeks ago, we covered crewmates. Crewmates are the good guys who do their tasks and try to root out the imposters, and on the contrary, a week later, I covered the imposters. I didn't get to go too far into this role, but basically, Imposters are the people who kill the crewmates, and they do the sabotages, and that's basically the gist of it. Uh, and that's really all I got to cover over these past few weeks. It's been weird. I didn't get to show my cam. I didn't get to show my face a lot, which was fine. Uh, but anyways, yeah, the franchise or the community is kind of dying. 
Uh, so I guess this has been the end of the series for Among Us. Hello, Wolverines. We're going to say it's been great and we continue to be great. For today's story, we're going to be talking about winter break. Winter break starts on the 21st of December. Make sure you get all your missing work. <laughs> you will have a lot of free time on break, so me and Emma are going to show you a great idea that you can do with your family and friends for free. Go see some Christmas lights. <laughs> <laughs> We are going to enter some clips of Emma and I at the light show right now. <laughs> I hope this helped. We hope you guys have a great winter break. Make sure you give back to your loved ones. Happy holidays! Bye! Bye.